another edition of the Graveyard Shift. We got Vinny, Welcome. Kenny, Welcome. myself, hey, hey. and that's it tonight. Uh, yeah, fuck those kids. Yeah, fuck, fuck those guys. We fuck. fired them. Well, yeah, they were conspiring against us. It was a conspiracy. <laughs> oh, there a he fucked is. up conspiracy. A there's, very fucked up conspiracy. Frank. He's on the couch. Yep. He's uh. That's our replacement for now. A loose leaf piece of paper. Until, until we could find uh, uh, better qualified individuals. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking all applications. All types of applications. Yeah, even if it's on a crumped up Dunkin' Donuts napkin. We'll just, take just it. Just write your, your size and your name and your tit size, and maybe we'll consider you. If you like boys or little kids. Don't yeah. fucking give a shit. Mm -hmm. If you like boys and little kids, yeah, you, you stay on home. The show. <laughs> shit. We've already had pedophiles on. I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. Oh, oh well, we got a fucking uh, 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 a show tonight, don't we, Kenny? Oh, absolutely, we do. We have a great show. Um, everybody's been talking about this, you know, across the world. Eight hundred and seventy-four billion people have been talking about this. I actually looked at our Twitter, at our Twitter feeds, and uh, <laughs> we have a Twitter. We, don't we have a have fucking a Twitter. No, no, <laughs> not at all. One. Not a fucking all. We <laughs> should. Somebody out there make one for us and act like you're us and get us in trouble. Yeah, yes, seriously, yes, please. please. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Um, <laughs> that'd be great. Imagine that. Yo, imagine seriously, someone makes a Twitter. They go and they do that, and they start saying fucked up things that, like, you know, start, they dick start is tweeting small the president and fucking, like, fuck you. Can yeah. fucking molest children in caves, <laughs> and and you know, Ryan fucking sucks dick for twenty dollars, yeah. and Ryan yeah. passes out AIDS like candy. You know, yeah, I know, like but the, the part candy. about Ryan is true. Almost, Sorry, almost Ryan. like the Facebook, but that's actually us. Yeah, the Facebook. Yeah, the, 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 the Facebook. Let's dig right into it, though, man. Yeah. You know what I think would Going be good, deep. and uh, we were talking about this before. This came out of a, like a, a drunken stupor grade. night, you know, and uh, we were thinking that I missed out on. Yeah, <laughs> that you missed out on much of things, you know, yes, much I of missed things. Out on fucking everything. Uh, I just show up at 11:15 on Wednesdays, like, all right, what's going on? All right, what we doing? <laughs> so what we were talking about was there's so many fucking stupid inventions out there. That I think that we can come up with better inventions. Oh, yeah. I, I you agree. know, being nope. smart individuals that we are. Yep. That that Complete. actually like work. Yeah. You know, that, that you're gonna actually use, not, not like the fucking pool noodle. Yeah. You know, like yeah. like what is that's that? a dope invention, what the bro. Fuck. Dude, that guy's filthy rich. I yeah. know filthy that. rich. But that's insane, you know, the pool noodle, and he fucking makes mad money. You know, that's well. Cool. What would you make then, John? Shit, what would I make? I'd fucking. Uh, I got an invention, all right? And bear with me on this. It's an important one, especially if this happens to you on a daily basis. You get a wedgie, right? And you could be standing around just bullshitting, and all of a sudden you got a fucking wedgie. You don't even know how to fucking happen. You weren't even moving. So you got this fucking wedgie. And there you go. You got to fucking pick it. Now, I don't give a fuck, so I'm just going to pick it anyway. You know, I don't give a fuck who's around. I'll fucking sit there, and I'll fucking wiggle and shit. In customers' houses. In like, customers' yeah, houses. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'll pull my pants owners, up, and I'm bending over. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But what if... Disclaimer, if you're not 847 pounds like my friend over here, <laughs> yeah. you don't have to pick wedgies. Yeah, so what if... I gotta what pick wedgies. There was a little robot, and it, it, it could be a little fucking square, a little fucking triangle, whatever the fuck you want it to be, a little robot that you put in your back pocket. Hell, you it would be even small enough where you could put it in your wallet if you didn't want to feel it in your back pocket. But you got this little robot, and every time you get a wedgie, that motherfucker comes out, it unfolds like a fucking little transformer, goes fucking crawls down, fucking picks that shit for you, and then goes right back into your fucking wallet or pocket. Hmm. Uh, that's a that's a great idea. Yeah, I, that's I, interesting. I, I like that idea. Yeah. I like that idea. Uh, uh, now, now, how much... Would something like this cost? It's got to be very expensive. I mean, oh, at least the prototype expensive. itself. I mean, it would be it would cost more than you make for the shitty job you're doing that you need it for. You <laughs> it's know, true. <laughs> it's, it's true. But, so, but that's not. But that's not. There's a lot of things people. And buy it's got to be machine need. washable. Yeah, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Imagine you fucking wash that little motherfucker and he dies. Well, I under I understand where you're coming from though with that because we you know we work outside and whatnot and I've. That's why I don't wear underwear during the summertime because I don't feel like picking wedgies. Oh, yeah, so you're I always free balling. I just leave skid marks in my pants, you know? It's, it's whatever. No underwears <laughs> and tight ass spandex, this guy. That's where my invention comes in. All right now, I was saying that, I was saying this this past summer that, you know, like, you know, I work in a shop. I'm always working on cars and stuff, and, you know, they're hot and whatever, and it's hot in the fucking shop, and I'm always taking the air hose and putting it down my pants and fucking blasting my nuts 
with some you know nice fucking cool air or whatever. You know, someone mm. needs to come out with an invention, like a little a little fan of some sort, you know, to, to just just blow straight air, you know, have it buckle to the top of your pants and just blow straight direct air to your nuts, you know, during the hot summer summer days, you know, because it gets it gets annoying, man. Oh. Then you, Hell you yeah, know, they're, they're hot. You sit on them. Oh. Do you, you know, powder your bottoms before lay. you go out? You don't powder your bottoms. No. Oh, I do. Yeah, you got to powder I your do. bottoms. I, I, I get, bottoms, gets, your powders, powder whatever you got to do. It gets man. too fucking... All of a sudden, it looks like there's fucking... I'm making a cake in my fucking pants if I got to put that shit in there all the time. I don't give a fuck. My, my, my beautiful fiance introduced me to fucking to baby, baby powder. powder. To does she baby. put it in for you too, John? Oh, yes, she does. She introduced me <laughs> to baby powder. She introduced me. He didn't know it existed on this planet. No, I'm serious. He's got like, two I, kids. I, I, he didn't know what baby, baby powder. powder. <laughs> she always she sits there. She douses them down <laughs> like they used to do at the plague. They'd have all the people standing outside in jolly old England and just start bottoming their powders. That's it. Straight fucking bottom. Well, good for you, Lisa. You got more fucking gusto than a lot of us. Uh, God bless you, Lisa. Yeah, she's got God more bless. more machismo. But you, Kenny. Um. Well, mine's not so much. Um. An invention as an idea. No, no, it's an invention. You fucking smuck, spit it out. It's an invention, but <laughs> your guys actually has to do with shit for work. Mine would just be stupid, like it'd be bought at Spencer's or something. Well, that's because your brain is small, but we know. Yeah, that. well, be amongst many other parts of my body. <laughs> now, what? what I, I really squint the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are really close together, but my nose is You're running like a away. On, chick. Yeah. Jesus Christ. My nose is on a whole different continent, though. Oh, but what? What? Are, what I got here is you ever see those stupid fucking clowns that are or you know people who think they're funny and they walk around with the the the, the dog collar but it doesn't have a dog at the end yeah. you ever see those <laughs> what are those if I think they're fucking retarded are they but, trying to be retarded or is that like a fake pet or something it's like an invisible dog now I want to I want to make <laughs> wait, ones wait, wait, wait. it's an invisible dog no no that's not my invention my invention would be to take that but do the opposite with it like actually make it attached to a dog and then let the dog run around by itself and make it look like there's an invisible yeah. owner. All right. <laughs> that's shit. You know what that's, I'm saying? That's kind of cool. So you just see the yeah. fucking thing running down the road. You say, oh, shit, there's an invisible guy that lives in this neighborhood. I wonder when he moved yeah, in. You know? that's that's cool. Cool. It's like the invisible man. That's cool. Next thing you know, you're fucking jerking off in the bathroom. You know that that, that could bring closet, in, that whatever. could bring in a lot of money though. That's what I'm yeah. saying, bro. Just getting, just getting sold but there would also be like a lot of fucking dogs running around, and you know what happens when dogs run around here by themselves. So maybe that's not a good fucking idea. Yeah, because yeah. someone will then <laughs> yeah. someone will grab yeah, that true. shit. Maybe that's not a good idea. That's we'll leave that idea. one to fucking suspicion and suspects. Yep. You know, you know, imagine imagine we start doing that to people just straight up. Anybody just fucking, you know, you're walking, you see somebody that's suspicious, you just fucking shoot them in the head. And your reasons behind it is, oh, he looks suspicious. Yeah. yeah. Stop and shoot. Yeah. They think they should implement that. Okay, let's ask some questions now. All right. All right what do you want to ask? Fucking, that's actually a very unique invention you had, Kenny. Oh, okay, thanks, I got bro. A, I got a it question. Really I got a question. But should we? We have nothing to do with questions. I know, but I, I just want a question. Oh, okay. Should we tar and feather Ryan next week? Yes. I yes. think we should make him eat a whole tar. onion. A whole onion. That's a yeah. that's a good idea. Because that's plausible. I know, but we could tar and feather him too. I mean, yeah. how about this? How about we make him eat a whole raw onion, and then we tar and feather the motherfucker as a. It reward. doesn't have to be tar. It could be like you know Aunt Jemima maple syrup. Oh, well, that's yeah. even worse. Yeah, that's cool. Or we could make you him know, drink so that we don't kill freeze. the kid. You know, we yeah. don't fucking nah, kill dude, him. Little, oh, no, a little we're not we're not going there. Nah. Why uh, you want to kill him? I, that's what I said. We should make him drink antifreeze and tell him it's like some new fucking liquor or something. It's it's that should. fucking lean, baby. It's that green that lean. Shit. Hey Ryan, you got AIDS. Wait, no, I'm sorry, you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, people no, used to get drunk dead. on fucking antifreeze back in the day because that shit had alcohol in it. Yep. Hey. Yep. 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 Don't let your dogs. Don't let your dogs drink it. Just don't mm, let your don't dogs wander I, wild. I let animals drink that shit all the time at the shop. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, come oh, here. Oh, Jesus you want this Christ. <laughs> yeah. The stray cats we, we around the neighborhood. Tonight. The stray cats. Here, here, don't. Yeah, drink that. Sell them to the Chinese food up the street. Good. Huh? Those fucking stray cats. That is the only good Chinese place, too. The one right up the street from you, man. That's what, the only the one I'll eat. The one in the corner? Yeah, the one in the corner. Sichuan's Pavilions. Sichuan's. That was good. Yo, that's they've so been there for a while too, right? Oh, dude, they've been there for years. Yeah, he's they've a good dude. That little dude that's in there, he speaks perfect English. Who, Johnny? No, I, I don't fucking know his name. But he's like yay talls, and and he'll he'll be like, hey, how you doing? Kind of heavy side? No, 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 no. 
It's just a little a little Asian kid. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? What are you going to have? Oh, I'll have this. And then he goes... <laughs> like, like, like that, like fucking 180. You ever, you ever huh? try to like sit there and actually understand what the hell they're saying? Oh, they say some bugged out shit. Cause you know what the hell they're gonna tell the guy in the back to order. Yeah. If you go there and eat, they'll still stare at you. They should. Yeah, they, they should. They want to. That's their business. Take your shit and get the fuck out. Like that's just a formality. Having the seats, they really just want you to get the fuck out. So they're gonna stare at you with that old evil eye. Like, that fucking that that that. Are uh, you what eat they here? Call you Guaylo, right? Uh, Guaylo, Yen, round Yen, eye. Yang Lung Yo. You know how to speak fucking Chinese? Care to go outside? <laughs> he said, care to go <laughs> outside. Yeah. Actually, oh. That's actually Japanese and, and Chinese. Those are two. two All right. uh, what's we had good inventions. Yeah, they inventions. pretty good. Koima. Oh, Jesus. Those inventions. Christ. Someone should someone should pick those up. Yeah, no, somebody you know pick this up and patent it for us. No, but but use your name and get all the money from it. Yeah, no, and don't give them. us anything. Fuck them. Don't you dare steal our inventions, man. Oh, they're already stolen. Are you kidding me? Shit, I remember when I invented the post-it. The post-it. I remember that. Post-it? I remember that. Yeah, I invented that the shit. Lick it, the stick it and send it away? Yeah. Uh, there downstairs. was no sticky on the back. It was just my jizz. I just yeah, blow, blow, it, blow right? loads on fucking... <laughs> <laughs> now, this brings us to another one, John. And Vin, the like. Um, there's been a lot of speculation over the, over the millennium about who's God... Is the God, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Who's God would win in a knockdown, drag out battle? Yeah, but fuck up. So, what we did is we, uh, like we always do on the shift, you know, we try to educate the motherfuckers that are sitting watching this shit because it don't do none of us any good for us to be having a bunch of stupid motherfuckers yeah, around you this stupid earth. Stupid bastards. Yeah. So, We're here to educate. That's so, the main, edu- the main what, goal what of the shift. What we got going on is I high school for the nothing. clash of the gods. And uh, we looked up a couple gods. The we got the, we have the four gods. fights, you know. And what we did is we'll give you a little quick background on each one, and then we'll come up with who we think will win in the fight, and then you guys out at home could do that too. Yeah, so did you did you masturbate to every picture here? Yes. Is that why they're stuck together? Yes. Yeah. Yes. God bless. And they're they're nice and tidy, if you notice. Yeah, I'd masturbate. Let's go with to a the first one. The first. Uh, now this is Shango. He was an African god, and he's fighting Tic Tac, Tic Tic Tac Toe. Uh, he was an he was an Aztec god. Talatic. <laughs> Talatic. Shango. Now he leads a full red-blooded life and likes to party. He is in great demand as a drummer, and his dancing talents cause severe outbreaks of funkiness wherever perpetrated. Now when the thunder is heard, you should salute him by crying. Kalibo Sal Shango, or words to that effect. Now, the other guy, the Tic Tac God, he was an Aztec God. He was the ruler of the fourth level of heaven. And his domain is, uh, is a water-filled paradise of lush green plants from which he dispenses rain and lightning. Now, the Aztecs always have a fucking price to pay. And if you're a fucking Aztec, you know goddamn well you can't just have a God without paying a price. Yeah, motherfucker. So his price was uh, his priest... Killed and ate babies to promote rain, which only appeared if the babies cried before they, before death. So, what uh, can we show those guys one more time? So you got a fucking Papa Shango, and he's a good drummer, and he's fucking crazy, and he dances, and he's funky. I saw him drum for Black Sabbath one. Yep, it, he opened up, <clears throat> and you got Tic Tac, and he just rules the fourth level of heaven. He's on the right. Um... And he's got lush green plants and eats babies. So who who do you think would win the fight? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'd masturbate to TikTok. Yeah. That's, that's a- not the question, John. The question <laughs> is who's going to win in a fight because eons of souls are fucking in limbo because of this. Uh, let's see. Who I don't know, Johnny. Who do you think? Here? I don't know. If I have to pick anybody winning in a fight, I think I'm going to have to go with the Aztec God. Oh, that's one for TikTok. Vin. I'm going to probably go... I'm gonna most likely go with the the Aztec dude too because motherfucker eats he eats babies. And Damn, shit, dude. no, it's yo, you guys are baby. fucking bugging. Papa Shango would take that dude hard. What? But, what? but no, yo, no listen, fucking no, way. No, no. no, there's it's... no way. How the, how, all right, so what do you what do you tell? Dude, me? look at the picture, yo. Okay, look at the picture. This motherfucker lives on the fourth fucking level of heaven, 
and he has Four. fucking flowers and plants, water and lightning. And he sits, a, he sits on top of whipped cream. He's high and eats fucking chills. You notice? You notice the little baby that's in front of him too? If you really, really look in between his hands, there's a little baby sitting baby on that. Needs a, he's right. sitting on that whipped cream right there. Wait that baby needs dude, a fucking this haircut. Dude, this dude's fucking fuel is fucking babies. All right, so. All right, well, obviously I lost anyway, so Tic Tac won that fight. Put a check mark next to Tic Tac. Yeah, motherfucker. Bling. <laughs> Good for you, Tic Tac. Tic Tac. Who's next? Oh. Well, ben, why go. don't you introduce yeah. her? We got, uh, we got Ying, Yang Lo Wang. He's a Chinese god. Ying Lo Wang. He's the Yang god of death and the ruler of the fifth court of the Feng Du, the Chinese hell. He was originally king of the first court of hell, but heaven accused him of an undue leniency that's kind of what happened with the shift yeah that's kind of why frank and ryan are well they're anymore. conspirators they're fucking big time conspirators those motherfuckers anyway far too many souls were crossing the golden bridge to the to heaven the golden gate bridge yeah the golden gate bridge <laughs> too many too many fucking chinese <laughs> to, to the full house, to the house. Golden gate bridge. Yeah, leave it leave it to the chinks right building bridges and shit anyway the golden bridge to heaven and the place was getting crowded leave it to this motherfucker crowd in heaven Fuck, I bet you half those people weren't even supposed to be there. Nope. Anyway. Once That's back, like what happened with the banks. Once back to the fifth court, he developed a real relish for making souls miserable. So everyone was happy again. Except for the souls, of course. Um, Yeah, all right. Who's he fighting? Oh, wow. We got Wendigo, the Native American god. He yeah, this one's for Ryan because he swears fucking he's terrified. Native American, but he ain't shit. Yo. Is he Native American? Native American, and he's fucking utterly terrifying cannibal monster. You can die just from the fright of seeing the Winnebago. It's Wendango. Wendango. It's not fucking Winnebago. You sure it's not Winnebago? Dude, it's Winnebago. Winnebago to work, his Mandingo. name is Vinny. <laughs> it's, all right, you know what? Mandingo, that works, right? All right, Mandingo. All right. So, that dude looks you like can a die from the fright bastard. of just seeing a Mandingo. <laughs> <laughs> if you see Mandingo's cock, you're gonna die. That means you're already in the fourth Hold dimension. On. Wait a minute, but that would be the easy way out. For this is the giant starving beast with a never ending hunger for flesh. Flesh. Victim the victims of Mandingo rendered apart <laughs> and all the parts devoured down to the last tiny bone and droplet of blood. Wow. So I think who's this one's fucking. This? Kenny, let's start with you. I who's think this, this one's pretty much sewn up and fucking planted in the ground. Yeah, Winnebago dude. for the win. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Yep. Yeah, the, the Mandingo, hundred percent for the win. That guy is Mandingo. not giving a fuck. I agree. That Chinese agree. god. Yellow, guy yellow shit. Wang, you lose. Yellow yeah, Wang. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're fucking. A your piece is shutout. ruined. Yeah. Your piece gets you're fucking, fucking ruined. Yeah, look at him. He's grabbing up to the sky like he's on the monkey bars. He's he's over here having a good old time at Lions Park. Monkey barn around. This guy's eating fucking flesh nuggets. Yep. <laughs> you know I mean? Another flesh eater. You notice how the winners so far are the ones that eat flesh. It's, that's true. This is a lesson to all you kitties out there. All you right. want to live forever. You you know, eat we're flesh. not telling you what to do. Vinny, why don't you uh, read off the next one? All right, so uh, let's start it off. We got Loki. He's the Norse god. No, you get the wrong one. No, no he's got the right one. No, this is the right one. Yeah, this is Loki. He's the he Norse god. He's fucking up, son. <laughs> Yo, Ant, what the fuck, man? All right, God, Loki, Loki. Damn it. All right, Loki. The notoriously naughty <laughs> Norse trickster rascal, one of the world's major trickster gods in his early days, Loki, was a rascal, crafty, sneaky, silly, and malicious. A Loki the, a Loki the lad. All right, so this guy's a fucking jokester, and he likes to fucking <laughs> pull pranks, huh? The son of two giants. What the fuck's that say? Lofi. And for Buddhist, he was an outrageously mischievous. He was outrageously mischief, mischievous that he even sneaked his way into becoming a god. We are illiterate here. Oh, I'm He's illiterate. Everybody out there, I we are illiterate. <laughs> I can't I just, read shit. Know dude. That. I feel like I'm I fucking can't. in high school. <laughs> I can't read <laughs> shit, dude. I can't read shit, I, man. Hand like me a wrench. I'll fucking yep. swing it around. But your that's head. pretty good, man. And who's fucking? Tenet's Chitlan. Listen, yeah. do you know how you know how hard it is to memorize words? I don't know words. I memorize words. That's why I can't spell. I memorize porn websites. Yeah. yeah. Just <laughs> the bloated goat. Yep, the bloated goat. Raccoontube.com. All, All right, right, so, so. Who's, who's Loki fighting? Loki is fighting the Celtic god. 
So Ooh. this guy, you know this guy's So you got you got a fucking right off the bat, man. You got a Viking versus a fucking Irishman. Yeah, dude. Yeah. This is like awesome. This is no good right now. This is no good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's about right, to get so fucking real up in Celtic the god. Edge. His name is Chuchilin, known as the Hound of Ulster. He was a champion tough guy of many legends and adventures. He performed all manner of manly heroic deeds, man stuff, armed yeah. with his trusty I don't even know what a spear. Right? Gay bowling. A gay bowling? Dude, how the fuck could you read he, this? He, I don't know. He went gay bowling. Oh, gay bowling. Friday yeah, nights gay was the gay, gay bowling night right. up in the fucking, up in Ulster County, New York. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever his, his fucking bowling ball penetrated a body, 30 barbs opened up, causing r- ridiculous amount of fucking mess. Just like mm. ripping people to shreds, pretty Damn. much. That's no. nuts. That That's is nuts. pretty nuts. So one's a trickster and one's just into man shit. Yeah, one's yep. just into man shit and Guinness. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> go one's with, a Guinness. Uh... <laughs> you know what's crazy? This one's kind of hard though because the fucking dude Loki's he's like a you know he's like a sneaky bastard. Yeah. Loki doesn't give a fuck. And, and, and he got mosquito bastard. antlers. Listen, the 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 the, the, the like Celtic a god Dodge Ram. is all good and all. He's a man. He's tough. He's got a spear that'll fuck you up. But. Loki doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, but he's also got fucking goat peen. Look at the picture, bro. Yeah, dude, goat he's got peen. a fucking... His penis is a goat, dude. Yeah, but the, but fucking Loki was in a movie. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That is true, that is true. He, he gave the fucking Avengers a run for their motherfucking right, money. Final call. Well, who you got? I don't know. This is a hard one. Hold on. I think we need to dive into the chat yeah, room. Yeah, what do you guys this. think? Oh, is this... Are Let's people hear. still out in fucking left field? Let's hear. Who? Let's see who in the chat room is paying attention. The People werewolf. Probably asleep. The werewolf. The werewolf would win. That well, was, that was that's a not a fucking. Ago. That's not part of this. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We got uh, Loki. Loki wins. Loki huh. can trick you to death. Loki wins. Uh, he, the he, Irish drunk. The Irish drunk. Oh, we didn't even fucking dip into that. If he dips into into Grandpa's whiskey, oh, he, that's like uh, spinach. Forget it's like it. Loki's spinach. gonna try and pull a fucking joke. He's gonna get one of those hand buzzers and be like, "Yo, what up, chichikinlin?" And he's gonna go, Bzzz. and the dude's gonna be mad drunk, and he's gonna be like, "Yo, dude, but doom and fuck him up." <laughs> but the, fucking yeah, it's this, true. Yeah, he may even fucking he may even beat that guy's Loki's wife. I go for the Mick. You going with huh. the Mick? Hell yeah. I don't know, man. So that's what two for the Mick. You going with the Mick too? I'm going with Loki, man. You're going with Loki? No, I'm going right. with Loki. I'm you going with Loki? Damn, yo. Yeah. You guys ain't picking none of my guys but so, the w- Winnebago. So, the Winnebago so was cool, though. All right, bet. So, Chucha Killen wins. No. What? <laughs> no, no, fuck you, guys. Fuck you, guys. <laughs> no, I says, going with the Viking, Because I says this. All right, so we need someone else in the chat room. Who else? The two people that are paying attention right now have already All right, we'll, we'll come back to it then. We got our last Should one. Should we? Yeah. Is this a tie? We'll say that one's a fucking necktie, and this one is about to be something ridiculous. All right. All right. To the next one. To the next one. This is Eros. He's a Greek god. He makes yogurt. Yeah. He makes yogurt, and a tree limb suspiciously covers up his penis (laughs) in ever so gently way. (laughs) And he wears fucking... It's John Stamos. Yeah. He wears bells and whistles (laughs) around his head. He's irresistibly handsome, sexual in desire. A handsome youth is bittersweet roles to stir the passions and create desire. No, how, no matter how many hearts get broken all in right, the process. All right, I got to cut you off. Don't even bother reading this. Don't even bother Why reading this. Why is this? Why is this? Why? Because you pinned them up against Anubis. Anubis, bro. Anubis. From the gr- God of the Dead. From Grand Nubia. That's done. What, you, you got a God of love and sex and whatever else the fucking. Well, that's what I'm saying. Brand. This is why it's, it's, it's yeah. very obvious, but it's not that fucking obvious. No, man. See, a simple minded creature as yourself <laughs> might, might, might think in, in a manner. Slug life. You know what I'm saying? Anubis was in the rap group Grand Nubian back in the 1990s. Oh, you know? I remember him. Yeah, he was fresh. They used he was to do fresh. shows with Onyx. Listen, yep. listen. <laughs> there is nothing. There is nothing. No idea, no theory, no way he can use his weapons that would fuck up the god. Dude, the maybe, you, maybe. What if he made him fall in love with him? Yeah, exactly. What if What if Anubis was really into that, that he anal shit? would still kill him so he can join him in the underworld. It doesn't matter. Give a dog a bone. <laughs> Give a dog yeah. a bone. Yeah, he, dude. Eros is, is kind of fucking whack looking, though. I'm not even going to lie. Eros he is whack. Dead. But this dude's got a fucking cane and a dog face. You know what I'm saying? A cane jackal and a dog face. face. What the fuck's he going to do with that cane? It's a jackal face, I believe. Oh, it's a jackal. That's a jackal. That's a oh, jackal. Yeah, it is. 
Anubius. No. He looks like a Doberman. Death is serious business to Anubius. Yo, and and, and I think he, oh, what's it called? He has a lot of mythology with the fucking constellation up in the sky. So he contends with fucking stars. Now is it is Eros a Cupid? Is is this yeah, is Cupid? That Cupid? Yeah, I think that is, man. Eros, you know what? Love versus death, bro. This is the ultimate fucking battle. And, and if you're at home and not and your mind's not fucking blown, it looks like Carmona's boyfriend. Who? Oh shit. Eros. Oh Might shit. Be. No, that's too. Eros, that's, that guy's too Eros good looking to be Carmona's boyfriend. He's got the feather wolf hair. Where is Frank? You're supposed to call up tonight. Frank's on the couch, man. He's, He's on that the piece of loose leaf. Yeah. <laughs> He's on the couch staring at his blank walls. Oh my! I have a great immune Just system. Just sitting there. <laughs> I have a great immune system. <laughs> yeah, you have such a great immune system. <laughs> <laughs> it's malaria. It's malaria. Vince, show the camera. Show the camera a picture of Frank. I don't think they can see it, but I just want to. No, you have to get up and show him. Oh yeah. It's it's like, show that. Show that camera. Just so they can see that he's jackal. here in presence. It's a jackal. Uh, the light shining ever so brightly. Hey guys. Uh, hey. Let me see. Like this. I'll be at. I'll be at Davies later. <laughs> hey, there he is, Frank. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good, motherfucker. Yeah. Notice how Ryan just doesn't have a picture. I don't think we should speak that name anymore, I don't think or any of those word, any of those letters in no. words that we say. So let's try and avoid words that we say that have those letters. The, the whole show. Will be what letters? Silent. Ryan. Yeah, R Y A or an N. We can't say words that have this. A. That's like detrimental. It's a vowel. Yeah, you're a, a bowel. We can't say any A letters, any <laughs> A words now. So, so I can't call you an asshole. So Eos fights <laughs> uh, Nubis. <laughs> I don't know, man. So uh, fuck a Nubis one. Everybody yeah, knew that Nubis shit. Yeah, Nubis won that. Everybody knows that even shit. Go to a balls, vote on that. No. God damn it. All right, you know what? We'll take a vote. God, this ain't, this ain't a dictatorship. Yeah, what the fuck? It's man. a jackal. Vote. Relax. Fidel Castro isn't in tonight. Yeah, right? <laughs> 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 Oh, don't call me that. Don't be hate ah. my, my Cuban heritage. Yeah, my Cuban hairline. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Uh, we love you, Frank. Uh, yeah, I wish he was here tonight. Yeah, I, I wish like, he was here, you know, the one only to I, fall down the stairs. Yeah. The one night that I, I actually wanted to go to Davies tonight. And he's, he's, he's like, I'm sick. I'm ah. sick. I'll meet you there. Dude, you're not sick, dude. Just mm -hmm. take two shots of Jameson. Yeah. That shit go right and away. Stop oh, sleeping right with away. skeezers, you know? Yeah, dude. Come on, man. No whale blubber. Yeah, right? I'll give you some of my fucking uh, cannabis oil. It'll be good, Frank. You yeah, baby. Is that Nothing. it? Was that the last one? Yeah, that was the last one. Yeah, that was one. it. Shit. Now, if we just go back, though, real quick and look at all the winners, and then uh, yeah. the fucking Battle Royale, who would win all that shit? Oh, yeah, we got tag team and quick. shit. All right, so, oh, so quickly, TikTok. All right, TikTok. Wendango versus, uh, versus Loki versus Anubis in the fucking Royal Rumble. No holds barred fucking... Uh, Jean Claude Van Damme, dip your hands in glass. You remember that fucking movie? Yeah. Fight. Damn. All right. Well, Loki's are automatically knocked out because they'll tear him apart. Yeah, Loki's yeah, whack. So is, so is TikTok. Dead. TikTok's gone. Yeah. TikTok's yeah. out. So TikTok, Anubis, your babies didn't help you there. I nah, think it's, Anubis it's, versus Wing Dingo. Oh, yeah. That's fucking. That's a hard one. Let's I'll leave have to this. Go with my boy. My boy Anubis. Yeah. I yeah. think we should leave this. I think we should leave this. Maybe do a little bit more research and find out. You know, after right. the break, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So Grand Scott Nubian, that. the Grand Funk Railroad himself, Anal Lubus, Anal Lubricants, is fucking <laughs> up against the, the, man go. the Native American god who couldn't save his own people from getting fucking wiped off the face of North America. God bless. Let's see who wins. God. Let's go to fucking commercial break so I can go fucking kill myself and jump in the street. Oh, yeah! yeah. Addicted to Ink, a proud sponsor of the Zaraza Entertainment Network, is Westchester's premier tattoo, piercing, and apparel destination. Offering only the finest tattoo and piercing services, as well as the best atmosphere you will find. Addicted to Ink is located conveniently at 38 Westchester Avenue in White Plains, New York, right across the street from the Westchester Mall. If you got the itch for more ink, like the Zaraza boys do, get your work done right. Visit www.addictedtoinktattoos.com for more information.
alternative music, alternative news, the underground and the underrated. You're watching the Zadaza Entertainment Network on ZenLive.tv. Hey, write a song, 10 seconds in length, and I can sing it in any style imaginable for five bucks, exclusively on Fiverr. Here are some of your 10 second songs. Wendy, you can't take a call, you must be feeling like shit. I hope this kick ass song helps you get over it. I feel better, so Wendy! Sandra, you're the greatest mom to Kai and I'm So I was surfing the net, bored to tears, and then suddenly I came across zenlive.tv. It was so awesome, my eyeballs popped out of my head. Since 2006, the foundation for ZenLive.TV has evolved from its Westchester, New York-based flagship show, Zadalza New York, into an up-and-coming contender in digital broadcast and alternative news and entertainment. Now, the Zadalza Network is taking the next step into the future, and we can't do it without you, the viewers. Until mid-October, our Indiegogo campaign is live, and everything we raise goes directly toward bettering the technology that we surround Zadalza Network broadcasters with. Technology that will increase video quality, lighting, connection speeds, and even allow us to broadcast live on location. Perks and rewards for contributions range from Apple TVs to extremely inexpensive on-air advertising. Whether it be a shout-out, a commercial for your business, product, or service, or even having your own show. So, if you have enjoyed the programming that the Zadalza Network has made possible, including the program that you're watching right now, visit our Indiegogo page, make a contribution, share it, and be a part of our future. We're back. Yeah, you know what? There's a lot of fucking things around the studio to get distracted about. Fucking horse. And, and it's there's a horse in the other room. Yep. A, a live horse <laughs> walking around shit. Big old fucking dick. Um, what should we start off with? What, what did we say? Summer we, day. Summer oh, day. Beautiful summer, summer day. day. Now oh. let's set the pace. John, set the pace on what this this uh bit's about here. Your perfect summer day. So basically, we're gonna talk about our perfect summer days. What we would think would be the perfect summer day for us. I'm not explaining that any more other ways than that. Oh. So, Vinny, why don't you start it off? What do you got for us? All right. So, m my perfect summer day, you know, cl kind of cloudy, you know, maybe like 80, 85, stroll through the, you know, through the park, you know, just walking along the park, see a, a beautiful woman with her husband, maybe like a couple kids or something. I make eye contact with this woman, and she just tells her husband and kids, you know what? Fuck you guys. I'm going to go fucking bang this dude. I have a sick obsession with MILFs, all right? So, you know, this woman comes home with me. I bang her. She gets pregnant. I go straight back to her husband, and then I fuck her sister. That's my perfect summer day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, just, just perfect... Everything is great. Gilfs? You know what? I like Gilfs too. I don't care. Give me your fucking AARP money. Mm -hmm. I'll take your retirement checks. Yep. I don't give a sh I'll take it all. All right. If you have a grandmother out there uh, that's decent looking, all right, she's with you know, widowed or whatever the fuck it is, and she she wants a man, you hit me up. You let me know. 
You guys could have a perfect summer evening. A perfect summer evening perfect that will end Eve. at 5 o'clock when she goes to bed. After you get to eat at the you get to eat at the Golden Corral at 3 o'clock, and then you, <laughs> and then you summer's eve her to death. <laughs> it's a summer's eve, baby. What, You're getting what, douched. What about you, Kenny? What's your perfect summer? Oh, day? man. A you perfect, ain't... perfect summer day. Let me sit back. Now, a great summer day to me would be I'm sitting on the porch. Let me paint a pretty picture. I'm sitting on the porch somewhere in uh, upstate New York. Drink around It may be around House Cavern, you know? And we're, we're sitting on the porch in, in rocking chairs, me and my wife. And uh, we're drinking country time lemonade, splashing our mason jars with the ice. I'm telling her, oh, babe, you didn't mix the fucking powder good enough, you know? It's, it's more powder than water, you know? And uh, we sit there, and we just watch the sun. And this is the high noon right now. We're, wa- we're actually, we're literally going to sit there and l- look at directly at the sun until our retinas burn. <laughs> right? Maybe a fucking forest animal or a forest creature <coughs> bounces along the lawn. And right then and there, my wife hands me the fucking 12 gauge and I blow the fucking thing's head off. Right? <laughs> but then, then I put the gun away and we just sit and we watch the body just start flipping around like a fish out of water, you know? Uh, it's perfect right there. I'll get up, I'll grab her hand, I'll say, babe, let's take a walk, me and you. Let's take a walk. I know a, I know a nice quiet place, you know? You hear the birds, you know, and and I take her to a beautiful field where I put down a nice fucking tarp, a nice fucking blue roofing roofing tarp. (laughs) And uh, we're going to put fucking, we're going to put, you you would think I'd lay her down and we'd make beautiful, sweet, passionate love and conceive a child. On the blue tarp. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. Not just yet, wife, not just yet. What we're really gonna do is we're gonna put it on a hill that has a little bit of a of an angle, and we're gonna put soap on that fucker and a bucket of water, and we're gonna slide down that shit like a slip and slide, like a bunch of retarded children. And then after that's done, we'll be nice and clean. We'll walk back to the cabin. Um, I might patch up a few things. The roof needs a little little fucking shingles. You know, she'll she'll sit there. She'll start making some shish kebabs. Uh, we'll start a fire. You know, I'll get fucking piss piss drunk. She'll start yelling at me, push me in the hot coals, and uh, that's what that's what love is about. That's exactly. And then after that, you know, <laughs> we'll make sweet, passionate love on the hot coals, and uh, and then walk on glass. Yeah, and then the four, and then and then the wolves will come and remove the carcass that we had shot, the you know hours before <laughs> off the lawn, and we'll gingerly watch as the carcass's baby gets eaten by the wolves as well. Oh That's a perfect summer day to me. That is, that is, a, that is a great summer day. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> that was a great summer God. day. What about you, Jonathan? Oh, man, my summer day. I'm on the beach. I got my family around me. And I have maybe like one or two more kids than I do now. Oh, boy. Uh, they all Heard that, Lisa? All a couple others find you. Yeah, yeah, That you didn't know. Yeah. They, they all go off running. I'm sitting there, you know, me and my, my, my lovely... Lisa are just fucking chilling, having a couple drinks, and I fucking, you know, roll up a fucking joint, spark it, you know, I'm just fucking sitting there smoking the kids off in the distance, you know, there's a bunch of, you know, on this beach there's a lot of other people there and whatnot, and everyone's just happy, getting along great, Ryan's drowning out on the water, and no one's <laughs> doing a goddamn thing about it, oh, that's perfect, that's, that's, that's beautiful, that's, that's good, fucking, you know, and then I get a phone call, and I hear, you know, I hear, I hear something tragic and horrible happens to a good buddy of mine, like Frank. You know, I hear I hear Carmona you know, calls me up just like, man, I had the worst day, and that brings a smile to my face. <laughs> like, uh, hey, those are the best. Him, you know? I had the worst day. Someone <laughs> double parked. Yeah, right. I couldn't <laughs> find a parking spot. Yeah. I had the worst day. I had the worst day, and uh, you, know, you just that would be a perfect day. We're just chilling, just relaxing the entire day. But then then we go to dinner, all right? And dinner is just awesome. And and what I want is like legit, like I want a mix of midgets. Definitely midgets, and uh, I don't know, maybe Asians, you know, like but semi-tall Asians that aren't as short as the midgets. So there's a good height difference. Dresses you know? marinachis playing like you know. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that would make no sense. So that would be good. Yeah. Asians being oh, mariachis. Oh, no, Asians are fucking awesome at karaoke, man. They're <laughs> awesome at mimicking all sorts <laughs> of fucking shit. They are. They really are. 
You get me an Asian, and they claim they don't know how to fucking do karaoke, and you give them a mic and put on a song, and they will fucking sing their we'll heart see them out. At, we'll see them at Davies tonight. It's karaoke night. Yeah, right? There will be some Asians there singing. Hmm. But that's my perfect day. That's know? pretty good. That is hey, a nice guys. Day. Not for nothing, but uh, we got some pretty good summer days ahead of us. We you know? really do. I know it's the it's the fucking heap of winter right now. Summer days, like but uh, camp. summer days. All right. Well, we all should die. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, all not before I bang a <laughs> gilf. Nothing. Wait, a you what? Lose. Gilf, baby, go gilf. Go. Yo, you gotta go for the gilf. I thought you said an elf. I was like, you're uh-huh. it's an elf. An elk. An elk. An yeah, elk. yeah, ride it. Fucking hold the horns it's and fucking, shit. It's a fucking that was uh, that was, who said he liked that? Oh, was that a, uh, was that Billy? That was no. What was his name? The the hillbilly with the maggots. What was yeah. He said he liked maggot the he liked oh, zon- the yeah, maggot, maggot face. face. Yeah. Maggot he said he liked the fuck deer. I wonder what happened to maggot face. I don't know. He bounced from here. Yeah. He went back to like Louisiana yeah. or something. some fucking Lake place, Tahoe right? or something. Oh, Lake Tahoe. He didn't rock. You know, away. <laughs> hey John, did anybody uh anybody say what their perfect summer day in the chat room would be no, like? No, nobody. I don't nobody. Think, That's because nobody's gonna make it to summer. No, if no, I have anything no, to fucking do about it. It's gonna be a harsh winter. They're yeah. all gonna die. Yeah, Loki's gonna come. Yeah. He's gonna trick you into fucking falling so into a fucking we, sewer. We have a uh, uh, a question about a uh, popular term that's used, um, and, and it's the term is the butterface. You know, you Butter see a face. woman, and you're like, oh, you know, damn, that body slamming, but oh, she's got a fucking, you know, that butter face. And, you know, people still, to this day, will ask you, hey, you know, what's a butter face? I don't get it. And, I, and you're like, yeah. Are you fucking yeah, retarded? How do you not know? Did you, yeah. did you graduate second grade? Do you have a nah. penis? I, listen, listen, if we go to Davies tonight, and we're chilling, and, and we see a chick, and we're like, oh, damn, she's got a butter face, there will be someone out there standing, smoking a cigarette, and be like, oh. What's, Whoa, the what's, that? Face? what's that? And you know, if, hey, if you watch the fucking shift, you would know. I'm fucking from, douche. Anyway, I'm so from, I'm from, I'm from imaginary Maine. people douches. Yeah. <laughs> you no, imaginary, it's not imaginary dude. I know the guy's name's John. All right. Yeah, he's a fucking piece of shit. All right, so, him, John. Well, what we did is compile, you know, a bunch of images, but it's not just of butterfaces. This is the fucking butterface Miss World Olympic. You know? Oh, we holding competitions. Two, 2013 Miss Butterface. Uh, Ghostface Killer Graveyard Shift. Yeah, Fucking, mother. let's go with the first one, and we'll put her up on the map. Now look at this specimen of a woman. Did I fuck her? She's she's got a nice body. I'm not gonna say it's slamming, but it's a definitely a nice yeah. body. But her face just looks like she just left fourth period fucking elementary school English. Dude, let me tell you something. Is this it a girl pizza face? I can't. Better see shit. get used to the doggy style position, because that is all she's gonna be used for. Yep, yeah, bite the pillow. That's it. Damn. That's a butterface. That was. Yeah, that let me, was see, let me see that one. Gonna, we'll I'll, see that I'll one turn up my uh, my nodules so you could look over here. Yeah. That's a butterface. There right you go. There. Oh, look oh at my that. god. Yeah, right? But her body's right. Yep. Is that a fucking dude? No. No, no. That, oh, that's a what chick. the fuck, that's man? That's a, a hard decision that's right there. That's a hot librarian. That's a butterface, dude. That is a butterface if I ever that's fucking see one. But you, would, you wouldn't pass that up, though. No, nah, I'd fucking do that. Yeah. Just don't, don't look at me. Yeah, exactly. Just oh, don't look at me. <laughs> just Brown don't. paper bag it. I look like fucking right. Harry Potter. So that's there. entry number one. And uh, that's Janine. And she is from Florida, New York. <laughs> Flo- Florida, Florida, New York. Florida. Who else we got? Next is... uh. Cheyenne, she's from the southern hemisphere, oh, you yeah, know, the southern definitely. part of the United her, States. Her parents are 100% related. Yes, yep. yes. <laughs> oh, my yep. God. <laughs> that They're is fucking... a face only the fucking pavement could love. It's a face oh, only God. her cousin could love. A fucking, yeah, her cousin, the pavement, your boot. But her body is not bad. No, not at all. And she, she looks like she's short, too. That's a butter face. I can oh, see Jesus. that competing in the Olympics hard. Let me see it. Let me see it. Look at that smile. Oh it goes from fucking God. car door to car door, that smile. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. And as you notice, she's standing behind, you know, a 1987 Chevy Blazer. So she is definitely from the Southern Hemisphere. It looks clean, though. The Blazer looks clean. It does. Look at the LS. Mississippi Queen. Mississippi All Queen. All right. No, no, don't, even, nice. don't even ruin that song All right. for that. Well, let's, let's go to our <laughs> third entry. All the way live. Ladies and gentlemen, from Toronto, Canada, Washington. Hey! This is Kathleen Dubois. 
Definitely oh. about to face Kathleen Mario. Dubois. She'll definitely be competing in the Olympics. Yes. And she'll sell you a car as well. That's I not even she... fucking blowjob material. Man, man. Like, what do you do in a situation like that? That's like 10, that's like 10 to 18 beers. And she look cute. Her face, at least. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know, man. She I, looks I mean, like she has a steady job, though, too. I mean, I know that's off the fucking topic, guys. I know yeah, that's off don't... the topic. And I'm sorry for straying. Is she on a motorcycle? For security. Yeah, she's on a motorcycle. Are you sure? What? I think she's in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking serious wheelchair, then. What do you... I mean, she's got what's the, the chat? Son? What's the chat room think? Yeah, yeah. We need, what do you we guys need help, think? The, we the, need the, help again. They turned us off a long time ago. Get fucking useful and help us out, peoples in the chat room. She, she looks like she's got nice nippies. You think they're pancakes? No, 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 no. They're pencil, they're puffies? pencil puffies? erasers. Yeah. They got to be puffies. She's Where's she from? Canada? Maybe French You could tell by the roots. Like, her hair is blonde, but her roots are dark, so she's got purple nips, and she's trying to hide it. Mm. Nothing no, wrong I can't with purple fucking, nips. I can't, no. I can't do that. No? no? Too much? No, nah, that's, that's... I mean, I'm not really picky, but... Okay, well, let's so go... So she's not even a butterface, so okay. she's actually not making it into the... She's not playing in the Olympics. Well, she's not she's making it. She's got fucking purple nipples, she's, man. She's not making it to the fucking quarterfinals, is what we're saying. All right. No. All right, next, who we got? Oh man. Now I think her tits are actually trying to strangle her face. Oh my god. Her, her tits are trying to strangle her face and kill her because her tits are like we rock and you are so whack. Oh my god. The those yeah, I'd pipe. Fuck it. Yeah. Yep. Dude, those things are yeah. fucking huge. How are you gonna say no? You could slap them together and start rapping to the beat. Yep. <laughs> I wouldn't titty fuck though, cause then I have to look at her face. Unless you titty fuck the other way, and then your fucking Nifkin was right in the face, well, and then you're really telling them. Vinny, mm. suggestion: brown paper bag and a black sharpie will fucking do wonders. We draw Frank on her face. Yeah, if you draw Frank on her face, <laughs> that'd be great. You, yo, we should actually get Frank stick it. So when when that situation arises, you just stick the fucking. No. Frank's face on the fucking plastic, on the fucking we'll, put, we'll put Frank's face on the back of his ball. She's got a, a hell of a hairy trail going down to that sniz. Does yep. she? Looks like it from here. But that just might be rust stains. Could be <laughs> sand. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> she, she's had the same belly button ringing. She's had the same belly button ringing for fucking God knows how long. It's not galvanized steel and it's, it's fucking, fucking rusting. rusted, baby. All right, she let's go to the next. <laughs> See, now that's not oh, terrible. That's, that's oh. oh, my God. I think this might just be a bad picture of this girl, though. No, not no. at all. That's an example of drugs. Yeah? yeah that that's a butterface right there. Does it look like somebody's trying to strangle her and cut her yes, head off? Yes, that's what it looks like. It looks like she's getting suffocated. Yeah. She looks like a doll. She probably needs to eat. No. I don't know. She's kind of skinny. You can see uh, her fucking ribs. Bit. I, I like them tiny, Which though. brings us up to another uh, another That's fucking thing. If there's any chicks out there that want to get down with the shift and uh, you want to come in studio and you don't mind us throwing food at you, like oh, we yes. want to, I want to find a chick that'll let us fling baloney at her. Yeah, you've been, wa yeah, you've been wanting that for a well, while. Well, I've done it before and it's fucking dope. That's it what I say. I want to bring it to the fucking shift and have a contest to it. Yeah. You I know, so if you're down and you want to promote, if you're a stripper, you want to promote your own bullshit, you're a prostitute, you want to promote your own yeah, bullshit. We don't, we don't discriminate. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care if you're 400 pounds and bald headed. Just let us throw fucking deli meat at you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But back to the topic at hand Oscar Mayer, motherfucker. Her body's fresh. Her face is stale. Is she getting suffocated? Yes. She might be. Is she? I don't oh know. my god, man. What's she rubbing like acetone on her face? <laughs> that, 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 Acetone brother, and gravel. Jesus Christ, material. man! Where the fuck, dude? All right. Well, let's go to the next one. She's in the running, though. At least she has a. That there's something there's totally something good, fucking hot about this one. Nah, she's not a butterface at all. Fuck it. You like her face? I fuck it. I, I, I'll you fuck it, Anthony? I, I'll take the whole package. You'll take the whole oh, package. Shit. God bless. That's because the side boob, baby. Yeah, side boob. Side boob for the way, day, man. bro. Side boob. Side boob. All fucking day. Side boob. You could see a picture of side boob and you could be at work and then you just be like, yo, I'm taking lunch early and you just got to go home and fucking crank one. Yeah. You saw a side boob so real quick. Go home. We'll just do that shit at work. She's going to make it into the uh, Olympics? This she's one? Fuck yeah. Olympics. I know, but this is the butter. This is the butterface. The butterface. This is Miss Butterface but she's kinda, Graveyard she's, Shift 2013. But she's... All right. I Why guess. you think her face all right? Look, over I can't here. even see, dude. Yeah, from here, here I just see fucking. I just see side boob. I don't know. There's something about that. You know what? You know why? I've done worse at face? the bar. You know why I don't like her face? It looks like she took a sip of bitter beer. 
And she's got bitter beer face. She's bitter beer, beer face. face. Yes, that's yes. You're she's right, got, man. She's got a bitter beer. Too face many hops for that bitch. And, and, I don't know and, though, man. Side boob right now is getting me a is little. Is that choked. our last one? Is that our last yeah. entry? That's it. All right. So, all right, let's go through them one more time. Yeah, can real we go quickly. really quickly? Just real click, quickly. Click, one click, more, click, one more time. Click it a clack. Click it a clack. Librarian. Okay, that looks like a kid that lives next door to me. Uh, down south, Mississippi. Uh, some sort of Persian. <laughs> I thought she was French Canadian. Uh, I don't know. Uh, boobs trying to strangle face. She, she looks like those look like cupcakes. Her boobs are also strange. Is somebody trying to strangle head? Oh, push up bra for the win. And side boob all day. And side boob all day. Who do we give it to, fellas? Shit. She's gonna be fucking put on blast for us, man. Hmm. Hmm. This is a humdinger. I'm gonna have to go with. Remember, this is the butterface. The butter, yeah, butterface, yeah. Butterface. Not, uh. <laughs> The girl getting strangled. The girl with the with uh, that looks like with that, you know, she looks like she rubbed her face with acetone and gravel, like Kenny yep. said. Yeah, the blonde. The blonde. You yeah, liked yeah. her body the most, huh? But you know why? Because I think in the right light, you might be able to stand her face. But that's not the fucking contest here. The contest is to have the ugliest fucking face with the yep. bang in his yeah, body. She has an. You think she has the ugliest face out of all these bitches? The bitch I'm looking at right now looks like she's going to come to the screen and bite me. <laughs> but, like, are you kidding me? I'm going to have to go with the librarian, the first one. Yeah. That bitch is fucking fugly, dude. Yeah, she is fugly. Dude, but that fucking... But her, 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 her itties are, are very nice. Yep. I don't, right. I, don't mind, I don't mind nice little small perky tits. The first, the first one is what Johnny's going with. What are you going with, Ken? Ah, uh, fuck, dude. Kenneth Kniff? If I have to go with with body and fugly face, man, I'm going through them in my head. The last chick actually had decent face. The blonde, not decent face, but better than this. Like, better than this chick right here. Well, that chick just looks like a fucking straight up man. Yeah, that's well, what I'm I saying. think she that's wins fun. then. She Fuck it. Like that's it. She, yeah. she looks like the Boston That's Shania's sister. Like, fucking, that's a fucking butter face Well, right just because of that, I don't think she could win now. Now that you put that idea in my head as American, I can't let her win. Go. <laughs> Sorry. So. Sorry, get fucked. But yeah. she's got the American flag in the background. Oh, yeah. that might cancel it out. No, <laughs> cancels Come it on. out. That cancels it out. I think to me, to me, she wins. Ah, she wins. She's the fucking yeah, because winner. she looks like a he right now. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a fucking cock under there. Like well, a, it might be. Well, goddamn it, Ben. Well, goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have now that we have that information, we'll we'll press up fucking flyers with her, and uh, she'll get nothing. She'll get none of the fucking proceeds. You are making t-shirts with she's, your nasty butterface. Yeah, she's actually crying right now that that is on the internet and we found before, it. Before before we go on to our last and final segment of the evening, um, we were talking about a very very special event that we're going to do next mm. week. And normally we don't talk about shit we're going to do next week. But this one, I think this one merits a little uh, um, uh, 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 foresight. Coup de gras. Yeah. We're, we're going have, <laughs> to have a race. An actual race. Right here. Oh, we racing. Yeah. we're racing. Oh, we're racing. We're not going to tell you what we're racing. We're not gonna, exactly. We're not going to say what. But... Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your oh, bets. Oh, we're, we're holding money down on this, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we'll be Definitely. fucking throwing money down. Throw money down on this. this if you want to put money on this race, come to any of us. I could be the bookie. It's not a big deal. Yeah. He's yeah. used to it. You may not get it back, but, you know, fuck you. That but happens. the race, <laughs> we, all of us on the shift are going to represent one thing, whatever that thing may be that's racing. So, you know, everybody has to guess you could say our name, but really you're saying, you know, whatever it is that we're bringing will represent us. So we're going to pick out our own whatever that may be. So just on that alone, I probably confused the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. But, I'm, uh, I'm confused. So right. let me let me let me re rephrase what, what Kenny was trying to say. Basically, we are not representations a not of what we are racing. So if you're going to pick a side, you can pick yeah, it now. Can. It's going to be John's thing. Vinny's thing. Oh, yeah. You could pick my thing. Frank's thing. Hey. Kenny's thing. That's how that works. Pick what my if, fucking thing. Pick no, my wedgie, Johnny no, Watts. Trust me. Go go for the next What about one. Ryan's thing? No, so Ryan doesn't I even get fucking, one. I, I don't am, get one. Yo, we're definitely not fucking spending the money to get what we're going to get and then fucking get one for Ryan, too. Fuck that. Why, he doesn't like a pony? 
Oh, no, we're not racing ponies. No, nope, no, nope, it's ponies. not ponies, ladies and gentlemen. Can't do ponies. Either. Midgets, midgets, not midgets, ladies and gentlemen. No, I don't want to race midgets either. I want to do something interesting. All right. All right, we'll do All right. Well, we'll let's, let's, out, uh, we don't even know what the we hell we're We only got a couple it. more minutes, so let's get into our last one real quick because I think it's importante mm. for the people out there, especially since it was just Halloween. And uh, I know I got nieces. And a, a lot of whack ass fucking stale ass fucking fudgy candy came through. Yeah, these some, and some of you people give out the fucking worst fucking yeah. nasty candy. Yo, like, so we want to see. We're gonna talk about it, and then you could chime in if you feels like it. What's the worst fucking candy ever made? John, what do you think? Oh God, the worst candy ever made, hands down. I'll have to go with fucking raisinets. Raisinets, yeah, raisinets are doo doo butter. Down. Yeah. I'm fucking. Yo, I'm, I'm going to listen. Raisins, Baka grapes, hayatsura. awesome. Chocolate, awesome. But they're two different types of snacks. Exactly. They're two different types like of snacks. Like the chunky bar. You know? Who the fuck wants fruit in their fucking chocolate? Exactly. It's a chunky bar glorified. God, yeah. I'm, I'm going for fucking diabetes, not fucking, you know. Health. Health. Yeah. Jesus yeah. <laughs> yeah, God forbid out there you think Johnny's going for the health. Anything Hell that no. has. If he's eating snacky cakes, he's eating snacky cakes. He don't want broccoli in the middle of them. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Vin, what do you think is the worst candy? Honestly, I seen you know, like like you said, we all have nephews and nieces and stuff, and I seen my nephews got Mike and Ike's. They're uh, whack. Fucking, they're they're fucking disgusting. They're like jelly beans covered in shit. Yeah. They're they're. I was happy when I heard they split up disgusting. Mike and Ike. Yeah, you know what? Fuck you, Mike. Fuck you, Ike. <laughs> Don't. Stop making those fucking nasty fucking candies. If you watch the shift, Mike and or Ike, you can go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah you know what? We'll send that shit right to your fucking door. Yeah. We'll send you a videotape of me saying, fuck yeah. you, your candy fucking stuff. I'll make sauce. you choke on them shits. A whole fucking bag of them just drop right from the doorstep and light it on fire. Uh, yeah. I'll take a shit on a... Uh, you know what? Next week, I'm taking a shit on a Mike and Ike box. Well, I got to tell you what I think is the biggest piece of shit candy ever made. What do you think? Oh, there's a cat. Oh, I'm going um, cat. Good and Plenty's. Good and plenty. You know, in a purple box, they look like fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. like medicine. What yeah. the fuck is a good and plenty, and who wants to eat that? Yeah, maybe an eighty-seven-year-old woman named Edith. I think, uh, isn't like, that like licorice? Yeah, it's like turn of the fucking century candy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The automobile was introduced like fifty years ago. We don't need to eat your fucking eighteenth-century candy. Yeah, you know what else is crazy? You could, every every candy we mentioned. I was just thinking about this. You can actually find. At a movie thing. Yes, I was just gonna say the same thing. Man. Every fucking and they'll why? charge you ten dollars for yes. the box. Why? What? And, the, and you can find the fake ass Sour Patch Kids there, and nobody likes. Get the real fucking Sour Patch Kids. Yep. The CVS brand Sour Patch Kids, the generic ones. Yeah, it's got like a fat white kid on there, and it's like this, and, and it's just like, <laughs> it's like no, I want fucking Sour Patch Kids. Yo, remember the sour, the the fucking. Uh, the Sour Patch Kids fucking trading cards from back in the day? No. No. <laughs> I, remember the, I remember the gum, though. That was oh, pretty dope. Oh, man, dude. That, that, I mean, they had gum? Yeah, they had gum. Yeah, they had a bunch you of You know what was a dope candy now that they here about this, though? Bonkers. Y'all remember Bonkers? And you used to open it up. It was like a chewy fucking, uh, almost like a now and later, but it was like chewy. And it would come with a sticker of a wrestling guy. Yeah, did, I don't, I did Wonka make it? Make you can get him at Robin's place. Robin's place, motherfucker. Yeah, Robin's yep, place wasn't Wonka. shit. Slush puppies, baby. Yeah, they were they were purple. Slush puppies. They were like a purple, and then they had like a red fucking filling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah those yeah. were fresh. I don't remember those. I remember uh-huh. those. I, I was remember probably fucking. Uh, what's another candy you don't fucking see anymore? Fuck. So many candies that are just gone. Hey, hey, John. When is the Christmas party? What date is that on again? It's on the twenty first. The 21st. Yes. What time does it start? 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. Davey At Burns. Da- Davey Burns. At Scabies. At Scabies Burns. Burns. That, that's going to be fucking nuts. I can't oh wait for that. And if you, if you replied that you're coming on Facebook, that's dope. Thanks. But if you replied that you're coming, you got to fucking come or take yourself off the list because everybody that comes is going to leave with a present. And yes. I ain't buying fucking extra presents for uh, fucking people that ain't there. Invisible fucking people walking dogs. Yes. Fuck you, invisible yep. oh, people. Uh, but here's the thing. These presents are actually, they're not going to be like... We're not buying bulk of something. If you're coming and you're on the list, there will be a present for you underneath the fucking Christmas tree. Yes. And if you're a good fucking Samaritan. dumb piece of shit, you might even get to sit on Santa Claus's lap and he might give you the present personally. Oh, there you go. Can I be Santa Claus? That's something you can't take back. Nope. nope. You can't take that back. It doesn't go away. Herpes. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, it was a fucking fine day, a fine evening. Uh, I heard your summer days and it makes me sick. 
Yep. From us to you, the graveyard shift. Good night. And Go we don't you. even like you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah.